So here's the 177 or 4.5 millimeter, uh, almost finished, ready for firing now. And probably the only thing I really need to do is finish this grip off. But everything else is completely finished. Again, it's all handmade, mostly scrap pieces. This big piece of channel here, I found it's, it's pretty rough in places, but it's, it's good enough for this. All this scope mount, handmade pieces of scrap. The grip is a piece of big piece of aluminum channel that I spent a lot of time shaping. This is the chamber, stainless steel one inch, oh, I welded that up. A 24 volt DC solenoid valve. So we have a, an electronic trigger. You can see there, just a little micro switch with, a, with an arm which I bent, makes a nice little trigger shape. Virtually no trigger pull at all, as it's just a switch. It's a single shot uh, breech loading. This is a piece of smooth bore stainless steel tubing. It's about 0.183 inch inside dimension. It's a little bit loose for the pellets and the BBs, but that's as close as I could get. Uh, this tube here just slides over it. There's an O-ring there. There's a seal at the back. These two pieces here have an O-ring in between them, so it keeps most of the air in. There is a small leak, but not too much. And that locks it down, puts a bit of pressure on this O-ring here. It's quite long overall. The barrel is 750 millimeters. Now, I finished it just before the end here, just to protect it, really. It's clamped in by these four screws, so it won't move. Uh, the bipod is obviously off another one I've made. It just it's quite easy to detach, just two bolts. Same as the scope. I've reused that. The adjustable stock here, just on with one bolt, so I can use that on other launchers as well with the same one inch tube there. And that's about it.